Glencore, a global network spanning over 40 years and over 90 commodities, which Reuters once called the biggest company you've never heard of. With 150 mines, they encompass every link in the supply chain, from metals and minerals to energy products to agricultural. Originally named Mark Rich & Co, it was renamed Glencore in 1994, following a management buyout. But it's been dogged by controversy, from allegations of kickbacks for Iraqi oil, to doing business in apartheid South Africa, to contributing to serious pollution in Zambia. In 2002, CEO Evan Glasenberg took the helm of the new firm. Nine years later, it listed on the London Stock Exchange, priced at 530 pence, valuing the company at $60 billion. But shares fell as retail investors found the offer price too expensive. In 2013, Glencore completed its merger with mining company Extrata. The deal, which took 450 days, created a company with over 190,000 employees in 50 countries and more ships than the British Navy. In August of 2015, shares plunged 10% on just one day after disappointing financial results and concerns about the company's massive debt pile. But Glassenberg told shareholders the company did not need to refinance and blamed the share price slump on short-term hedge funds which did not understand his business. However, just a few weeks later, Glencore announced it was selling assets, selling new shares and would be closing mines in an effort to cut the group's $30 billion of debt to $20 billion, with Glassenberg personally taking a large stake in the new shares. But those shares continued to decline on September the 28th, they fell 28%, hitting a record low after analysts pointed out that all the shares could be wiped out to pay back the company's debt. The fall in share price also meant a fall in Glassenberg's fortune, from $6 billion down to below $1 billion. 2016 has seen a reduction in debt, also a recovery in the share price, but it's still far below the IPO price. But Glassenberg says the commodity complex has ended its five-year period of price underperformance and is confident about the future.